sorry. <laughs> trying to accomplish right now? Um, more with my left hand, like showing the phrases with my left hand and being more comfortable switching on and off, I guess. And I definitely am seeing more progress with the left, which I think is really, really great. There are a couple of things that I'd like to see if you could become a little bit more aware of so you can learn how to let them go, okay? Yeah. Most of the things, for one, is your elbow is almost always here. Okay. So it's hard for you to get anything bigger if this never moves. Mm -hmm. So like, are you capable of doing that? Yes. So we want to have moments okay. that we allow ourselves to get there. Okay. So this is coming from maybe, it's mostly coming from the shoulder. Okay. So usually when the one joint isn't moving some way locationally, it's because the joint above it isn't moving. So let's let that move and bringing it forward, I think just in general. Okay. Again, if you were holding something on your forearms, can you just try? Yeah, there's a different feel. Now you can just turn your hand over. Boom. There's something different about this space versus this. Okay. This is push away, get away from me, even though I know that's not your intention. Mm -hmm. This is come with me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, again, it's like seventh grade dance. <laughs> <laughs> Ballroom. <laughs> okay, just that little bit of comfort level. Okay. Every time I see you have an impetus of, of something you want to change, it comes from the body. Yeah. So we want to try to get that, you to trust that. That's a feel, okay? My body's saying I want to do something but it's doing it in a way that's not going to communicate. Okay. It's actually gonna make it harder. Mm -hmm. So what I end up seeing is a lot of lightness and sameness here because you're doing so much work back here. But if we let that work go, you can actually make more out of this, okay? So I'm gonna come up beside you, if it's okay, and I'm gonna just be a little reminder okay. that you don't need to pull here. All you do, are you capable of doing this? Yeah. Look at how you don't need to use your head. Can you go side to side that way? Yes. So you're proving to yourself that you can do that. You know it. Now you just have to allow that to happen while the music is going. Okay? okay. Beginning, everybody? <laughs> There is that, but that, 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 that's a different dynamic mm, level, okay. and you're not giving them to them. And it's like a cool little moment. It's like out of the blue, <laughs> da, 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 and then it comes back okay. to the previous dynamic there. So just be careful of those changes coming through there. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that. Okay. So if they're going to see that dynamic change, they need to see it here, not with you doing more work. Okay. This space is louder. So imagine if you were to play your instrument and you're like louder <gasps> yeah. you wouldn't do it you would take a better breath right and then blow faster air if this is the breath take a bigger breath this is the breath okay okay so i want to see if you can make that happen and ensemble just go with him whatever size if he's down here in this size then play that dynamic do not play the dynamics that are written on the page okay now i'm just giving you license to do what every ensemble already does anyway okay <laughs> sorry just a little bit of a jab Come on, we know that. Everybody plays mezzo forte or fortissimo. Beginning. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, you realize yeah. the one moment you're like, oh, that's, that's just not completely in your head so that you can't prep it, okay? Now, when you tend to give bigger, just even notice that. Mm -hmm. Could you give them a prep that's just lift the tip and make it bigger? So this okay. way. Can you try that for a moment? Just lift the tip. Look at how much space that takes up. Mm -hmm. Do it the other way. Mm. It actually is less with the tip. <clears throat> so we can just lift and then throw. Another way that I think about these things, when it gets to energy that you're trying to get out, just throw it. Like it's something, you just throw it. Throw, throw, throw. Get it out of you versus grab it and bring it into you, okay? Let's go to where, dee -da, dee -da, the key, well, right before, two before the bar, the double bar, okay? What is this music to you? It's How kind of it like, a, like a st storytelling, I guess. What's the story? Because there are lots of hey, stories Hey, you won't tell. believe what I just saw. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. And then, uh, over. What's, what, tell me, yeah, what kind of story is this? Kind of like a love story. Okay, that's closer. Yeah. Is that really dynamic? Or is it more intimate? In, more intimate. So let's see if we can get that to feel lighter. Okay. Because when you're touching things and you're taking in the feel, we don't get rigid. If we want to feel something, you let go so that your body can actually feel. Okay. Okay, so I want to see if you can feel the love a little bit there. Okay, two before the double bar. I think it's, is it letter B? It doesn't matter, two before the double bar. <laughs> <clears throat> want this to be light, that's where we're going to live, okay? Can we start right at the da da dee da dee So pick up to the double bar. Is that, do you have a double bar there? Yes? Okay, so the pick up, just the da da dee So think again. One, two, one. because it could have yeah. more depth and dirt. So I want you to notice, as you're going into the, the macro, which is a completely appropriate, I want you to watch on the video how your baton does this. Mm, do you want the air to do that? No. So you've got to find a way to move the baton tip through the pattern at the same speed of air. Can you just do that for a moment? Just conduct a macro too. Go out first, because that's a more comfortable place to go. Where is it going fastest, everybody? In between the beats or at the beat? In between. In between. Can you slow the in between? Closer. Now let your wrist follow through without your elbow. There's still a little bit there that wants to flick through. Okay, can I drive the bus for just a moment? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna help you just experience that. These are again, these are not, these are just helping you to ideally identify tools so that you can get more specific with your intention. Okay, not trying to just change you completely. Drop your elbow in my hand and give me your hand. Just let me take control. Okay. You're like, I'm the puppet master. <laughs> let me take your hand. Can we play right there? Da da dee. Try it again. You weren't ready. Sorry, Maya. And one, and two.
right there, they just, you're just riding that. That's the riding on top of that Professor Fetter's been talking about. It's just, once it's there, you're just riding, you're just floating on top of it. You've been, you've been in the ocean, because you're on the East Coast, yes? Yeah. So just, you're, you're riding on top of those, it's not the cresting waves, it's before, it's the part farther out where it's much more fun. That's where you're hanging out. And that's the riding on top. But this is the part that's riding on top. Mm, if you can okay. let that, and just take, video yourself. Notice the transitions. Take the sound off and see if you can see the change of speed and see if you can get it to even out. Okay, okay let's stop there.